hi it's me again it's a beautiful day it's a garden day i'm sitting outside just to change my background and location a little bit i'm sitting in the garden today if you wonder who i am my name is Fusla Kuma. i'm a registered nurse with bachelor's of science in nursing i am an alumni of university of ghana i school the university of ghana i live in new york state i work in new york state as a registered nurse yes and as you can see from this topic i have good 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 news for you Many of you have been testing me, you've been in my DM asking me about any opportunity for CNAs, nursing assistants. And finally, I've come across something for you. Are you a nursing assistant? I know in Ghana we have, we have HAC, HAC, Health Assistant Clinical, and other type of nursing assistants. Some were blue, some were green, some were brown, different type of uniforms. Are you a nursing assistant? Or are you a registered nurse with a diploma or bachelor's of science in nursing and you're looking for an avenue to live and work in the US? Okay, what I'm about to share with you would benefit you whether you're a nurse or you're a nursing assistant. The offer is a nursing assistant job. And finally, I have been able to get through, through to this company that I'm gonna tell you all about the requirements and everything. So this is good news, okay? I schooled in Ghana as a registered nurse and I came to America to work as a registered nurse. And uh, it's been a journey so far. Most of you have been following me. Thanks to my many subscribers. I cannot forget that. Thanks to my many, many subscribers. And I'm just trying to help people my own little way. And I'm told it's helping others and I'm impacting lives. So I'm still on this journey. I'm not gonna stop. So far as somebody's happy and somebody's life is changing, fine. It is now brain drain channel. We're not telling all of you to live. It's not even possible for the whole of Ghana to be aimed to live in America or UK or whatever. Those who want to do it, we would show you the guidelines to go through this process. We will not discourage you. Some of us were unfortunate and we were unlucky. We did not have anybody to show us the pathway, but we figured it out ourselves. So we're trying to make life easier for those behind. It looks like I'm talking a lot. Let's get to the point. Before I forget, have you have you subscribed to my channel? Not yet? Okay. And have you joined my Telegram group? Do you know of my team, USRM Pathway Consult? Do you know what we do? Wow, the sun is out. Good skin tone. USRM Pathway Consult. We are here basically to make life easier for you. We're here to show you the way to achieve that USRM journey of yours. There are so many information on the internet. You log in and you don't know where to start from. You don't know where to click and where not to click. And we have made it very concise. We have the pathway whether you're a midwife or whether you're a registered nurse. And now whether you're a CNA, as called in America, certified nurse assistant, or as called in Ghana, health assistant. We have the pathway to show you where to start, what to apply for, what not to apply for, how to do evaluation and all that. So if you haven't, I'm gonna display the numbers on the screen. Kindly call to join our WhatsApp group, join our Telegram group, watch all the videos, share videos with other people, information you need to share with so the other people will benefit, okay? So, have you heard of Worldwide Health Staff Solution? Okay, they are the ones who are giving this great, great opportunity to nursing assistants from Africa. Not just Ghana, not just Nigeria, not just Tanzania. They hire nurses, and other health professionals. So when you go to their website, you see other health professionals, you are part of the other health professionals. And I have all the need, I just got off the phone for the second time talking to one of their staff members. The numbers are there, you can also call and make your own inquiries. Anything we bring out here, we want you to verify it yourself. Don't just take it on a silver platter. You want, we want you to also do the research and make sure the information is authentic. My job is to bring it to you, your job is to verify and see if it works for you before you go with it. Yes, so Worldwide Health Staff Solution is recruiting CNAs, nursing assistants, as we call them back home, and the requirements, they want you to have a one to two year experience at the bedside or more. They want you to be working in the hospital at the bedside with one to two, two years experience. If you have more than two years, it's a plus for you. Yes, they want you to have a diploma or a BSN or your, nurse, um, your nursing assistant certificate. To show that you are really a nurse assistant and also to prove that you have a bedside experience 
you need to have a resume what we call cv in ghana or most part of the Afri africa we call it curriculum vitae cv america they call it resume they, they want you to have a resume because when you go onto their website it's a place you have to upload your resume it's a very very simple application form name first name last name then you upload your cv also called resume then you hear from them okay so let's go to their website together i will show you how to do that and uh we'll see how to go about it okay so you want to take your computer this is better when you do it on a tablet or a computer they can see better the screen is better so you can see what you're doing so let's do this together okay so You want to go into google i already have the page open but you want to go into google start from google as as usual then you want to type worldwide health staff solution mine is the first so i'm going to just pick it from there worldwide health staff solution you want to click on the website right here and open the google website when you go to their website you see direct hire international nurse recruitment you see apply now at the top and you see rn and healthcare professionals and you see healthcare employers so if you're an employer you choose the employer outside but i know most of us are the professionals who are looking for a job so you click on the rn health or and healthcare professional tab and that's how you get the information you need or you can just do apply now so i'm gonna go with the rn and healthcare professional tab so let's click on that another page opens that says rn and healthcare professionals it says apply now so therefore they said are you a nurse currently working in philippines U united arab emirates saudi arabia oman Qatar, Qatar, uk canada or anywhere else in the world that is what is throwing people off anywhere else in the world means well africa antarctica wherever okay so then you click on apply now because that's what we are interested in the tab that opens registered nurses and healthcare professionals apply here okay so they have a 24 year track record and integrity they've been doing this for 24 years and they, they are part of the american association of international healthcare recruitment aaihr so it says send us your resume first name you put your name there priscilla last name kuma email kuma priscilla gmail.com have you passed the NCLEX exams yes or no don't worry about it if no just say no upload a pdf form of your resume your cv so you have if you have your cv on your computer then you upload it onto that check that box i have read and agreed to health staff's term of use it's a privacy policy and the cookies and stuff or you click here to send your resume if you were unable to upload your resume or cv please click here to email directly to our recruiting team for review so you can email the cv if you have not been able to upload it your data is messing up or you don't know how to go about it you can email the cv to them and they would figure it out and attach it to your documents okay so let's say we've applied and we've clicked send what's next from there One next is that um, one of their team members, a recruiter, will contact you. They will say they have received your documents and they've gone through it and they think you qualify for the first step and they will give you a um, schedule of an interview with you. It can either be a phone interview or a web interview where they see you via Zoom or something. And uh, when you impress them at that interview, then uh, they tell you the next step. The next step is getting you ready for your immigration process according to the person working there i just spoke to yes the interview comes then the next one will be getting you the immigration process and you come to america to work this is cool so if you applied as a nurse when you enter america then you will start working towards writing your end lessons how to get your nursing career going so my main question is, do the people need to have IELT? She said, no, it is not needed at this initial stage. If anything, when they come into the US before they would have to write it. But for this process, you do not need an IELT. It's a direct hire. 
and one of the conditions of which they will hire you is when they have an opening for you yes so before the recruiter calls you there should be an opening or when they have an offer for you then they'll call you and set up the interview with you and when you go through the interview then they would uh, work on your immigration stuff for you then you come to the u.s yes so this is very 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 cool before i forget you're wondering if you're gonna get a green card yes at the end of all this when you finally come in they would get you a green card it covers your spouse it covers your children so oh this is good news yes so if you're a nurse and the agency process is too long for you and stuff you might want to jump on this cna process the health assistance opportunity coming to the u.s whilst working as a health assistant you'll be studying and getting your credentials evaluated and all that stuff then you can work write the endless and be able to convert and start working as an rn i know an rn who has applied and who has gone very far in this process she's just waiting for the immigration process to be done then she comes in the u.s work as a cna nursing assistant that's what we call it then study and take an endless and stuff so if the credential evaluation process is taking too long this will be a shortcut for you to enter the u.s and figure it out from there yes so this is a great 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 opportunity so if you are a health assistant if you are a nurse with diploma or bsn this will be good for you i'm not very sure about midwives so i will not include you midwives but as i said go to their website you can email them and tell them you're a midwife can you also do the cna thing i'm sure it, it should be it should be possible but check with them first before you go ahead so help assistant this is the good news i've been telling you that in the comment section that i have something coming up i have something coming up i've finally gotten all the requirements and steps okay requirements have one to two years bedside experience the bedside is very very important as a health assistant or as a nurse with diploma or bsn no ielt involved you're gonna get a green card as soon as they have an offer for you they will reach out to you so get your resume or cv ready and upload and do this application and wait patiently for them to get back to you this process needs time patience and money and you should be able to get ready because it's an investment you and your children are not gonna regret it pardon me the birds are chirping and squirrels or whatever but i hope the message is clear Thank you very much for watching. Share this videos with, video with other people. My name is Priscilla Kuma, registered, R, registered nurse, bachelor's of science in nursing. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. I'm talking so fast because this is great news. So jump for this opportunity. Don't be skeptical. Don't doubt it. It is very, very authentic. Their website is there. I called them last week and I finally got off the phone with them again today to finalize everything. I'm sure most of you have heard about them, but you are very unsure. And I know a personal friend, a nurse who is doing this and she's almost true. And hopefully when she's done, I'll bring her on and interview her as a success story as I always do on my channel. Share this video with other people. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you everybody. And don't forget to follow USRM Pathway Consult on Facebook. DM us, WhatsApp us, call the 050 number. We'll answer any further questions you have. Leave your questions in the comment section and I'll address them. Until then, take care, love yourself, and make this move to change your story. Bye-bye.